guys, I thought I might go through today and share some nostalgia with you guys. I found my old Smashbook that I haven't really worked in in a few years. And it's got a lot in it. A lot of stuff from high school. There's just a lot going on in here. And there's a lot of things have changed since then. And not a whole lot, but there's been quite a bit that has changed. And I thought I'd go through and share that with you guys and see what you guys think about the more past me within like the past four years up until now and some things that have changed with me as far as preferences and music the people I hang out with and don't hang out with anymore and just thought I might share a few things about the older me and see what you guys think so, uh, so this is my smash book as you can tell I was a little more girly back then I'm not I mean I'm still pretty girly I do makeup and all that but I'm not cutesy girly so we're gonna start it off um let's see Hello, why don't you pull up the chair and stay a while? These were some of my best friends. This is Victoria and Lexi. She's married now and doing pretty good for herself. And she does a lot of modeling stuff and she has a boyfriend. So this was actually further than four years ago. This was probably about six to eight years ago, almost. And this is my best friend, Elizabeth. Um, still best friends now. She is actually married and has a son and a stepdaughter. She's doing pretty good for herself, too. She lives in Maine and her husband's in the military. Uh, big on Aerosmith, by far. Go Perry was one of my favorites. And these are some things about him that I already knew about him. He was putting... His birthday was on the 10th, 1950, September. He has several kids, married. has a cat and a horse. Just a couple things. I, I still listen to Aerosmith. I'm just not as obsessed with them as I used to be. Old friends from high school. This is Kaylin. And this is Rona, Tori, Logan. And then this is Devin. I'm actually not a friend from school, but a very close friend of mine anyway. And they've all kind of changed. I haven't talked to him in a long time. I still see her around town. She's getting married. I go to Club Rodeo with her like almost every Friday. I might do a video on that one of these days just to kind of show you what we do. And then this, she's doing pretty good for herself. I haven't heard a whole lot from her, but I do follow her still. Um, these are just some things from my dad. He loves to hunt. He actually did scrapbooking with mom a couple times, which was kind of surprising given as he's not big on that creative stuff. Um, this is just some things talking about him liking to hunt and the scrapbooking that he did. Kind of lift up the picture to have a note underneath. A couple more on that. This was from church, and we got Starbucks the night before. They brought a goat to church. This was uh, when they did their throwback, and it kind of has little papers you pull out to understand why I took a picture with Justin Bieber, even though I don't like him. Marilyn Monroe, one of my absolute favorites. Still is, absolutely obsessed with her, and I might do a room tour one of these days to kind of show you how much I love her. Some things from Tennessee. Um, I've been to the here. I've never been to the Stampede. I've been to the Bushes factory, have been to Dollywood, done several things within Pigeon Forge. Um, I've been to Ripley's Aquarium, done a lot of hiking trails, and I've been to downtown Dandridge several times. And these are all my brothers. This is Malachi when he was younger, little cheeser. And then here's Skylar when he was younger, Mr. Noah down here. Uh, some of my top 10 favorite famous people. Joe Perry, Steven Tyler, Miranda Lambert, Elvis, Marilyn, Gene Harlow, Joey Kramer, Gene Russell, Brad Paisley, and James Dean. And those have changed a little bit too. I've got quite a few different ones. Uh, here's some pictures from high school with me, Kaylin and Rona. This was Tanner. We had some issues. Uh, we don't have them much anymore, but we did then and I was petty and I scribbled out his face. These were some things from a conference I went to. It's called Genesis, and it was amazing. Got to meet several famous people. Got an autograph. Talked to some of the these Christian individuals. And these were the, all the guys that were there. And then I've got movie preferences and song preferences. There's too many really to go through, but to name a few on movies back then. Sgt. Pepper's and Lonely Hearts Club Band. I really loved The Terminator. Spirit was one of my favorites. And then favorite songs, there's way too many to go through, but Aerosmith is probably one of the largest amount of songs on this list, given that I listen to them all the time. 
This is my friend Diana. Her and I have been friends for nearly six years now, and we've had some falling out at one point, but we came back together and fixed it all up as we're still friends. And these are some old pictures of her that my mom took. These are actually notes from family members and friends. Actually, between me and my friends in seventh grade, these are all of the notes we passed in science class and all of the things we talked about and did. And I kept those all these years. This was seventh grade. And then this is my sister Abigail when she was younger. And some things that represent her. She's active, beautiful, imaginary, gifted, athletic, intelligent, and lovable. And each one of them stands for her name. For the, each letter of her name. This was from my prom year. This is all the people I hung out with. This was my prom date at the time. Uh, my friend Ashley. This is a senior picture of her. This is my Harvey break a leg thing that was given to me when I did that play. And that was the really the only play I did. I truly enjoyed it and it was a lot of fun and I never really got to do any of the other ones. I didn't have a big part in Harvey. But they had the entire cast and crew sign to break a leg and this is mine. So I keep a hold of that for extra memories. Uh, this is my score and the name of the baby for my baby project that I did in high school because I did do the baby project. And I'm not really sure what's in here, actually, because it's not labeled. That's what I get for not labeling things. So let's take a look at what this is, because I can't really see it. Oh, this was an um, invitation to Dominic's graduation party. So, and he and I were pretty close in high school. I haven't talked to him a lot since then. Not really sure what happened to him, but we were pretty close. We talked all the time, got along really well. I think we dated maybe twice. But I haven't talked to him in quite a while, so. And these are also some pictures of me and Ayana together that my mom took. And this was a long time ago, really long time ago. So. We're Aerosmith, and actually this ticket is hanging up somewhere else right now, but I actually went to their concert in 2012, and these were a few things from the concert that I had gotten, and it was actually a lot of fun. I was really happy that I got to do that. Uh, this is a letter from my teacher in 6th grade that he gave me, and then this is an advice letter from my aunt, and a 13th birthday letter from my aunt as well. And then, over here, got some things about Elvis. He's also one of my close favorites. Uh, this was a poem I wrote. I'm not going to read it because I think my poetry could have been better. Here's a page on Noah. Me and my sister. We love to take pictures together. We do it all the time. And these are just some of the ones we've taken together. There's a lot of them. And this isn't even half the ones we've taken over the years. So. Here's another page with Noah on it. And this is some family pictures. This is my Uncle Chris. Here, my Aunt Jenny, my mom. Twins. I mean, this is Jill and Julianne. These are all of my aunts. And then this is my grandmother on my mom's side. So this is just my crazy family on my mom's side. Uh, this is some stuff about me. Again, I've changed a lot since all this because as you can tell, it's a little more girly than I prefer, but it's an old picture of me. This is a page that I put together from my trip to Africa. We got to feed the baby elephants and hang out with some of the orphans and we went on a on a safari. This is a picture of me at the beach. My first time at the beach was in Mombasa, Africa. So that was a pretty big deal for me to go to Africa as well as do a first trip to the beach there. This is a currently page, as in I was currently listening to Talk Talking by Joe Perry. I was drinking coffee, texting and smash booking at the time. I was smelling the coffee, feeling calm and happy, and thinking how much I love the song by Rick Derringer. And then this is from my 16th birthday party, which was not as big as I had hoped it would be, but it was big enough. And these are just some things from the party. A napkin that I used, a prop for pictures, invitation, birthday cake, me and my dress. And this is just good stuff in general. Uh, this is a card from Africa that my grandma got me, and it's actually handmade. And then this is a autograph from Elijah Tyndall because I had actually bought his book. 
This is me and my granddaddy together. Uh, lock it with my mom in it. This is from my field trip to Friends University and then when I went to see the Hunger Games when it first came out. And then this is my grandma and granddaddy together and then me with them. And my granddaddy actually as of last year has the beginning signs of Alzheimer's which is kind of hard but you know we love him anyway no matter what happens so yeah that was that was my scrapbook and you know smash books are actually supposed to be pretty messy so that explains why it looks the way it does if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like down at the bottom and subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this or more videos of any kind and leave a comment if you have a video suggestion i will see what i can do about doing that for you guys thanks so much for watching see you guys later Bye bye